Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. Actually, good afternoon. It's 1.30 on Wednesday. I mean Wednesday, the 20-something of June. Uh, I should probably get that. I'm getting a lot of questions lately. Actually, even phone calls. What is today? Da -da 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 the June 28th. So, I get a lot of questions as to where I am on my uploads. And I know a lot of guys, they're uploading weeks behind if you watch how farms works channel uh he's weeks behind if you were thinking it was real time he'd still be planting corn but the fact of the matter is if you watch his brother's channel you know damn full well that that corn is up to his girlfriend's chest at least those are the pictures that i saw so me on the other hand i like to keep things nice clean and fresh i do daily uploads daily uploads and in order to do daily uploads that gives you guys the viewer the uh, almost uh, real time you're usually a day to two days behind <coughs> the video that I posted today or yesterday is about a week and a half old because I didn't film anything yesterday because I was so damn busy trying to bail hay and do other crazy things that I just didn't have the time to uh, upload and edit a film that was current so you got something that was a week old but the one before that was done the day before that so today's Wednesday um, like I said the 28th things are going good I've got two sons in the field one is at a wrestling uh, camp so he won't be around for a while and uh, but anyways I got tedders running hay rakes running uh, the baler is ready to rock and roll I just need heat it's only 70, like 76 degrees right now. We well, got a nice breeze. Hay that I raked up yesterday is being torn apart as we speak. Um, for the simple reason, it isn't drying. The ground is so incredibly wet that the moisture is wicking up from the ground. And even though it's dry on the top, it's wet on the bottom. So I've had to tear that up. Now, Dad, he's on his way up to Point Mountain, which is 36 miles to our north. And he's going to start raking hay up there. Hopefully by the time he's done raking up, by the time that hay up there is dry and ready to go, I will have been done with the hay that is here like four miles from home. So, I would have been done yesterday, but the weather just wasn't cooperating. As I say, we farm between the raindrops this year, and I've also said in past videos that uh, anytime I hook up to a tether, I'm wasting time and money. Well, it's true, but on a year like this, it's a necessary evil. I hate Ted and Hay. I just hate it because I'm beating Hay to death for what? Just so that I can... Uh, rake it up and bale it. You know, it used to be mow, bake, and bale. You know, you mow it, let the sun bake it, you rake it, you bale it. That's it. Done. The uh, But this year, it just isn't happening. I mean, we're dancing between raindrops. Yesterday, and I can give you the scope of difference between farms. I had three farms on the ground. Actually, four far five farms on the ground. One in Flemington. The distance between Flemington and Clinton is about 12 miles. The distance from Clinton to... Uh, to uh, 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 the other three farms that are on the ground is about 20. So we're looking at somewhere around 40 miles of difference here. <coughs> 35 to 40 miles difference. Each one of those farms yesterday, with the exception of one, got rain of some sort. And it's really kind of annoying because I want to be bailing today. <coughs> The one farm that I had finished up the day before, Timothy was stacking it, and he got deluged. I mean deluged. He was wet just as he grabbed the last bales off the field. So we were lucky on that aspect. The uh, field that I'm going to now, we got spit on just enough to shut me down, wrap the auger on the bale, or just pissed me off. So instead of me working until 10, 11 o'clock at night like I've been doing for the last four nights, um, I've been... Actually, since Saturday. Today's Wednesday. Last night was the first night that I got done and home by 10 o'clock since Saturday. Friday, actually, since Friday. So, anyway, that's, that's just the way my days have been going. I'm kind of tired, but 
whatever. So we got spit on here. He got deluged there. The one in Clinton where I was bailing yesterday, before I came to the one that I'm going to now, that got rained out after I finished bailing. So those bales are wet. Tim's going to have to deal with those a little later tomorrow with a stack wagon so that they dry out enough that they'll slide on the stack wagon. While I bail this today, this will be dry enough today, but when I get up the Point Mountain and uh, Crystal Springs section of the Hunter County Park System, you can look that up online at huntercountyparks.com and you'll be okay there. You can see exactly where I'm working and what it looks like from Google Views. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a hair in my throat from something I don't know. Something's tickling it. Uh, now, of course, I can't find my son because he is not around. So, anyway, god darn it. Oh, so anyways, uh, yeah, we're, we're just running ragged trying to get a couple of thousand bales bailed. Now, I, uh, yesterday and the day before, I only bailed a little over 500 bales in two days. I'm a little bit upset about that. I should be farther along. But anyways, with that being said, I'm going to shut the hell up and get on, find out where the hell he's at, because he's supposed to be here, not there. What did you break now? Teresa did, right? No. Uh, actually, we're in tough hay. If you point the thing to the sky, see all those clouds in front of it? Yeah. It's getting tough. What's got to do with that over your baler? Weather has to do with it. It has everything to do with the farm. Whether it's just the baler, everything. Well, it's everything. Let me get the little... Ah. Really? Oh, there you go. Now this is where usually fingers get cut, so... Because you're around sharp teeth. Ah, got it. Alright. So this, this is actually going pretty easy. Pretty easy. Um, I gotta tighten it up. Chains usually break because they're what? Tight. Nope. Backwards. Loose. Loose? You have a chain that's too loose, you're gonna have a broken chain because it'll skip and chatter and do all kinds of crazy stuff. And basically, what's happened here in this particular chain, and it being stressed the way it is. Um, It was too loose and it chattered from all the hammering that I had, and it just came apart. Literally, probably just fell apart because of it being too damn loose. And it is not being too cooperative here either. I'm actually going to over tighten it a little bit because. shock absorbers on your car. It's got to flex just enough. It makes the ride a little stiffer, but keeps the uh, wheels on the ground so they don't bounce like rubber balls. There it is. Another trick with these springs, dime thickness. If you can squeeze a dime between the spring, then you've got it set right. So I've got that probably now, when that takes that slap out of there, it's going to be slightly over tightened, but it'll be good. And that's that. Now I've got the daunting task of figuring out how to get my hands clean without water. Ah. Could you believe that? Starting fluid. You're cleaning your hand with starting fluid. Yeah, clear. It's not the most healthiest thing in the world, but go beat brake fluid.
<laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, as you can see, the beads of sweat bubbling up on my head, possibly. Possibly, or maybe you're just blinded by the light. Um, my air conditioner broke. I'm going to have to... Is that thing, like, focused on my nose? Pull that back a little bit. Just because you're cross-eyed doesn't mean I have to. Make... Anyway, uh, yeah, the, uh, the hose rubbed its way... Rubbed the... Yeah. It's so hot in here that I can't even think straight. Uh, but I'm not a pussy and I'm going to still go. Uh, usually when you're 40 miles away, shit happens and you break it. So I'm going to drive this thing home tonight because tomorrow morning I'm going to pull that hose off of there. It's a steel line. I can braise it shut and be done with it. And life will be good again. But the uh, what happened was the radiator hose, or yeah, the radiator hose, I don't know, it doesn't seem like the radiator line has, uh, it's pipe, it's steel pipe, it rubbed the hole through the AC line, the hot side or the high pressure side, and has caused a hole, which I've lost all of my R134A, and uh, so now it's hot in here. But the good news is, things are starting to get tough. I'm going to finish up, i got this field here to do, and there's one behind Teresa here, and uh, then I've got another 160 acres up north, or up on top of the hill here that I can get to tomorrow, And uh, but I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to drive it home, fix the tractor, and then drive it back tomorrow. It takes an hour and 20 minutes to come up here. Uh, yeah, an hour and 20 minutes, I think, is what it is. It's a long time to drive it, but... You know what? Worst things have happened, and I can't fix it in the field hardly. At least not, not without a major production. And I'm kind of anal about bringing my equipment home, especially when you're you're driving around with almost four hundred thousand dollars worth of iron. You know, if you look at it, it's replacement cost is a uh, eighty-five thirty. It was a hundred. That's one hundred and seventy-five. So two hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars worth of son of a bitch. Like I said, things are getting damp.